<laughs> All right. Hey everyone, Zoltan Vamos here. Welcome to Colot. I did try to play the game just to see if it's working, just to see if it's going on. I don't know anything about this game. <sighs> Man. I do know that I downloaded the soundtrack and that I've downloaded the game. But other than that, I know absolutely nothing. So, um, let's jump right in. Let's start with a new game because, yeah, let's start with a new game. I want to get uh, a taste of what this game has to offer. We are currently loading. Ooh. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains, a group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototen Mountain. That voice sounds familiar. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, know. on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. Oh, that doesn't sound They so lost good. their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Oh. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. Okay. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Yeah. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. Lovely. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints yeah. led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace, and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? Something. The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. Shitty. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. Right. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? No idea. Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered Maybe. deep under the snow. Probably not, but you know. To each his own. Ooh, we're getting into it now. I am excited for this. Wow. I only saw the opening cutscene and about maybe half of it, and then it closed the game. But wow. This is absolutely stunning. This is a very well realized game. I mean, and uh, from the intro, I mean, I know that it's uh, created on the Unreal Engine, which is actually rather nice. I mean, wow. They put a lot of effort into this, and it looks phenomenal. I mean, the, the textures and the, the snow is it's all incredible. Now, I feel like I know what that story is. I feel like that's, um... I don't remember what it is. I can't remember what it's, what it's called, but it, uh, a group of, um, college students, or university students, were found scattered around Russian, uh, the Russian wilderness while they were doing a camping trip. Camping trip? I don't know, but this game is absolutely appealing to the eye. My god. There's two paths. 
Now I'll try this one first. Is there a sprint button? Okay, I can sprint. Okay. Okay, it probably shouldn't be sprinting all that much. Oh. Train tracks. Train tracks. Oh. What gorgeous music, though. Holy hell. Why does the pretty music stop? Okay, I think I'm back on. Uh, I think I'm back. That's a large rock mound. Alright, so I guess this is how it's going to be. Right? I suppose. I don't know. But. Oh, man. Wow, that is a really nice soundtrack. Really, really nice. Amazing soundtrack. Actually, I want to turn that up a bit. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's boost that audio a bit. There you are. Flying changes. Hell yeah. Louder, please. Oh, there you go. Huh. Interesting. The pointy trees of death. Or what looks like an opening. Yeah, I'll go through here. See what see what uh this uh, demon escape has for me. You coming to me? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I don't know. You tell me. I mean, I could be. Am I coming to you? That's actually the way that this question should be answered. <laughs> oh well. Wow. Damn, that is horrifying, but I really do like that. So I'm going to take a screenshot of that. That is gorgeous. Ah, I got the, the video recording insignia. That's stupid. Hey, I... Oh! Okay, I fell. That's fun. In the end. Thing I saw was a flash. I saw myself falling. Insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. Fun! I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. I feel like I'm something. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. No! I welcomed That's... the end with delight. That's comely. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm back in it. So I imagine I'm just gonna wander around. See what I find. I can't see a thing. Am I the only one that can't see a thing? Or... Oh, oh, is that a, is that, oh, that's a tent. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, press E, okay. <laughs> what? No. No, you're not. Fucking liar. <laughs> Don't say that. For <laughs> sake. Oh man. Don't say that. Don't 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 say that. that. No. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Great start to this great game. I mean, I'm loving this already. Really high graphics, really great music. Ooh. Act 2 already. Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? Sure. When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. Ouch. When they told you Monster that deserved punishment. I'm not a monster. And you could really not remember your sins. Oh. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. The problem is, it's in their darkness. You have never been alone. Oh, goosebumps, goosebumps, goosebumps. Woohoo! Oh, man. I am loving every little bit of this already. Wow. Whoa. Uh, press F1 for... Oh, that's what, though. 
Oh! Running a left shift in the deep snow is tiring, must adjust the pace. Uh, before starting a longer journey, rest in camp instead of a goal for a safe route. You can focus uh, a right mouse button on any object to take a better look at it. Lighting your way with a flashlight F and you become more visible. Obscure the environment carefully for navigation and uh, with the help of the map, M and C for compass. Wow! Wow! I am staggered. Is that a is that a radio tower? I'm assuming that's what that I'm assuming that's what that um, that red light is. But Jesus, the graphics in this game are through the roof. My go. I don't like being around these giant pillars. I don't like it. What's this? I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Wow. And you would be right, my friend. I, uh, <laughs> okay, I am getting out of here. I'm getting the hell of... Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Uh, 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 uh. Hello? Huh? Where are you? Who did you run off to? Can't. Uh, problem. Wherever that person light person went. I can't seem to find them anymore. Alright. That was, uh... Not good. That was awesome, though. That was really cool. The hell is this? Wow. That is a screenshot opportunity right there. Oh, whoops, wrong. There you go. Yeah, it still has the thing. With it. Wow. Uh, this is narrow and thin. You didn't tell me there was. I like a good mystery. I must say, the scenery in this game is immaculate, and it's... Wow. More screenshot opportunities. Uh... Oh, what, do I not have my flashlight on? Oh, and, and, 
have my flashlight on this entire time. Sorry. Demons or wolves? Or any of the above? Is that a page? That's a page. Right, 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 yep, yeah, okay. Mysterious lights were noted during the night of 4 to 5 July. Witnesses uh, testified they had seen a bright orange sphere, which had crossed the sky above the city several times, moving chaotically and then immediately changing its direction of flight. Finally, it stopped and disappeared. Major Girka, an aviation professional, confirms, it is impossible for any flying object we know to move like that. The military and Cosmodrome's personnel answered our questions in a short and firm way by distancing themselves to the event, informing there was no activity in the area, as well as there were no tests performed. Wow. Really, really, really cool stuff, by the way. That is interesting. That is uh, really quite cool, and I'm uh, thoroughly enjoying this experience. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going, but oh yeah, I have a map. That's right. Uh, maybe I can just. Uh, where am I? I have no idea where I am. Cool. Uh, I have a compass. Just gonna wander around a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because in all reality, I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. I hear like a door or just trees. I can't. That is amazing. <laughs> I really don't know if I like this all that much. No, I, I mean, I love the game. It's just. Jesus, the atmosphere is freaky as fuck. Stop hallowing already, Jesus Christ. It's not like we can all be badasses. Am I back to where I started? Huh? I heard that. Am I for real back to where I started? Did I just go in a huge circle? I just went in a huge circle. Huge circle time. Okay, I can't jump. Makes this entire endeavor harder. In all fairness. Man. Am I supposed to be finding something? Because I found two pages. Yeti in here or something. Alright. <laughs> I really don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All I know is that I'm back to where I started those huge ass pillars. Of that there mountain that's spewing. Is it gold or is it just a mountain full of demons? I will never be able to figure it out, but you know what? Maybe I. Maybe. Oh, 
come on. Actually, yeah, I understand. Good Lord, the wind picked up. The wind picked up a significant amount. So, uh, just winding, bending, bending. Imagine I'm supposed to go to that thing, whatever that thing is. I don't know what that is. But I'm gonna try and go to it. No. Okay, that's a huge. Ah! Regards, confession. 72 year old Anna N, after years of silence, decided to talk about the events from the past. She told us, I am terminally ill and have nothing to lose. I want people to know what harm had been done, and all of this is in the name of science. Anna N described her place a science research center where scientists allegedly conducted inhumane experiments on prisoners. There was a special chamber. They had never allowed us to even get close. It was guarded by soldiers, although I did see the people that were taken in. Not many came back. I kept in touch with one of them. I asked what they had been doing and why so many, of, why so few had come back out of their life. He said, he looked at me terrified. He said, Anna, have you ever seen nothingness? A deep emptiness with no end? I was there. I stood above the collapsed valley of the universe on the border between reality and unreality. There's an abyss there. A gigantic well with no bottom, a dark cave of hell. And I felt it. It was drilling in my head like a ticking clock. I looked... It looked at me from below. It was sneaking up on me and had slowly started entering me. The darkness. Sometime later, the same prisoner gave me a letter on, a, on to pass on in which he had begged for help. I was supposed to give it to the press and expose the whole thing, but the letter had disappeared. Up until now, I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, they would have, they would probably cover up the whole thing. We asked the survivors of the prison unit to which Anna, Anna N was subject to for a comment. Uh, Waldemir, or Vladimir, Kronsky, the unit's commander, strongly denied such events took place. He also informed us in a short message that NN was a guard but never worked in the mentioned above center because an object like that simply does not exist. He sent NN's employee record as proof that in the past night, in the past, that in the years 1940-1950, she worked in Sokonoka Prison, also known as Special Object Number 110. She had been let go from this facility due to mental health illness. Due to mental illness. A copy of her health record and mental certificate were attached. All right. Wow. All right. So that's weird. But what was that in relation to? Did that have something to do with the previous article I read? I imagine it did. But that is really, really interesting. Something about that just opened up the entire story and it just gave me an insight as to what is actually going on in this game. So, I gotta give him credit for that. Well written story, I really love this game. Really loving it. I'm enjoying my experience with this game. Thoroughly. So um, let's just keep on going through here. Maybe I can find something else. Or maybe I'll just die. Let's hope I don't die. Ah, uh, 
Ah, yes, more trees of death and destruction. I'm sorry. Hit a bum note. But damn. I apologize, but like, what the flying fuck, man? I have no idea where I am. That is really pretty lighting. And I'll take a photo of that too. <laughs> Man, this game has such a an eye for detail, and I love it. I don't know. Am I coming to you? I don't imagine I. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, let's do it. <laughs> All right. I guess that's okay. Oh, that is a really big fall if I fall down that. Oh, heights, heights, heights. Not my thing. Not my jam. Not at all. Alright. This is interesting. Huh. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh. I suppose I was supposed to fall from that. I don't know. floating rock you know usually that's not something that I like to alarm but oh fun ah! I don't think I'm supposed to be alive right now, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm running away. Bye. Oh, man. <laughs> Fucking shit. Oh, man. close to here, so that should mean that I am 10. I am right there. I am 
really close, actually. That's good. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 I imagine that I just keep on going through here. Uh. Must be going up. Maybe. No idea. I'll try going up. I'll find that later. <laughs> Run! Where are you? Oh, I'm right behind you now, bitch! Oh, fine. Ah! No, no, no! We are sitting in room number okay. 23. Okay. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Okay. Food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. Cool. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. Oh. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I don't know. I'm sure we forgot about something. Oh. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. Oh, the We're counting the money. Uh, the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. Oh. So, we made it to the train station. Great. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. How are Everyone you now? is so excited. Great. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. Okay. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? I don't know. What will we see? I don't know. How far will we make it? I don't know. I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully, and it's snowing outside. Okay. That's nice. Oh, there's a knife. <laughs> is, that a, is that a skull rock? Yep, 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 yep. Ah, okay, great, great, great. There's two ways, I think I, oh, really close. Discovered the first bodies by the pine okay. trees. Nice. A makeshift campfire suggested they tried to warm up. The bodies were only in underwear. I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. Okay. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart. Right. The position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent. Or just the opposite. Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this possible. point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. Mm. I have collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed the situation with the rest of the rescue team, and afterwards they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees, all right. and I entered the forest. Ah, uh, that's lovely. Uh, mm. Ah! <laughs> Alright, that's not good. I am... Run. run where? Run where? Run where? I guess this way now. Uh. Oh, come on! You know, you could run. What are you doing, man? Run! 
Try that again. Whatever the hell happened now? Jesus, what the hell happened? How was I supposed to do that? Was I supposed to keep running? That was probably what I was supposed to do. All right. <laughs> oh man, that's fun. That's very, very, very fun. That was really cool though. That was that was pretty fun. That was weird. What the hell's going on in this game? I love it though. I don't know what's going on in this game, but I'm loving it. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, and it's time to run this way now. This way. Oh, orange mist. Ah, uh, the orange mist of death. Holy hell! That's how you know chaos is insinuating. Or, let's bring a lullaby. I would run! Oh, come on! Crisis, I would be able to run up your adrenaline, but no. Apparently not. I. Oh! I. 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 If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Leave a like. <laughs> Alright. See you guys later.